So, a month or two ago, a family member of mine asked me to borrow a few dollars. And everything in me said, no, don't do it. This is the wrong idea. But I went against that inner voice and I did it anyway. And within a week or two of giving it, I regretted it. I was pissed, but I was pissed with myself because I learned a lesson a long time ago. If you can't give with an open heart, if you can't give with the idea of no expectation in return, don't do it. And nothing pisses me off more in this world than having to learn a lesson twice. That's what I was really pissed off with myself about because I learned this lesson before. I want to learn a lesson once and that is it. I don't have enough time in my life to learn the same lesson twice. And we often look at people who from outward appearances, you know, they, they're just always so blessed. It's always so much increase coming into, the, into their lives. And we're like, yo, how in the hell is God so partial to this person? Why do they always seem to have? And off the top of my head, I think of 50 Cent. Now, 50 Cent has this public persona as a dick. He wants everybody to believe he is the bad guy. I'm this troll. I'm the bad guy, right? And a few months ago, he went on this rant about all of these different people who owed him money. And he was like, I want my money. And it got me to thinking, this man has, and I don't even know 50 Cent like that. We know each other casually, but, you know, I'm seeing this just true. This man has obviously been a blessing to so many different people, people who, I, you know, us as the public, we will never know. But that is the reason he continues to be blessed. I mean, I think back to a few years ago when he declared bankruptcy since then. Look at all the wonderful things that's happened to him. The power deal, his film deal. So much good has happened in this man's life. Been able to clear out all that debt, get out of bankruptcy. But you got to learn to give and be a blessing to others. The Bible says be a cheerful giver and it will always come back to you tenfold. So I'm asking whether you are giving your time, money, your love, your energy, whatever it is, give with no expectation of return. Be a cheerful giver and I promise you it will come back to you tenfold. Something for you to think about. Peace and love make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.